are told of Hades, whose reign as grim lord of the dead came to a sudden end when all at once his past caught up with him. But gods do not go quietly, and history repeats. So this tale was only a matter of time. Death to Kronos. Vengeance for my family. the Titan pay. sunshine look we can't get to the titan but if you truly mean to stop him then the least i can do is light your way down they need my aid we'll see if i need theirs Whalers. to a heart. Lord Charon. These provisions surely shall make all the difference in my task. What gold I find is yours. Thank you for your service.
going down. Bones, just not precisely now. Goddess never got involved. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Well, look at you, odd stuff. Come to help the elderly. Oh, what a good girl you are. And here I was, just about to burn this old blasted place to the ground myself. Now, here's a little warm up for ya. Burns. Hear me on my authority. Flame of the Hearth. Mistress. There she is. You reached the edge of Erebus already. You have surpassed my expectations, Milenoe. Thank you, Headmistress Hecate, for all your guidance and the compliment. In my place, you'd have done the same. However, now is not the time for pleasantries. 
is for a demonstration of your capability. My capability? You'd have us face each other here, even though my task has already begun. Your training shall never be complete. And I would know if you stand any chance at all against our enemy. Crossed flames awaken. Disturb my eternal rest. You trifle with powers far beyond your comprehension, witch. Speak! That was pretty decent, right, Mel? That may be pushing it. Okay, if I call you witch like that. Witch worked for me in context. And a solid haunting all in all, Dora. But I'd better run. Something I have to do. Then be gone. This old unfinished painting. Don't look away. Don't forget all that the Titan took from you. Stand tall and show no weakness. The rivers have flowed back there. Come here. Time forced our hand, Melenoi. Nary a soul expected you to slay our enemy last night on a new moon, no less. But you accomplished something of great import. I lack such forgiveness for my failure, had Mistress Hecate. The Titan yet lives, and Olympus yet burns, while I'm back where I started. What is it I accomplished? You're here to speak of it. Recovered in body, if not in spirit. You've not failed. Merely begun. 
Thus may you learn. Grow stronger and complete your task. Death to Kronos. Death to Kronos. Be well, Headmistress. And you, Malinoi. This cauldron's filthy still, alas. But there's something at our altar you may use. And I've unsealed the silver pool as well. It's being purified. Hail. Tell me you killed the bastard. Drove your staff into his wretched skulls with a dagger in his gut. Eh, not that he'd die from that. Works on mortals, though. I've nothing to report, Odysseus. Not yet. Well, you'll get him next time, I reckon. Find a way to wake you, O sleep. I promise. <gasps> My altar. Had mistress lent me the arcana. The sorceress. The wayward son. The Huntress. Don't have enough for that. Don't have enough just yet. will do. The Altar of Ashes. The Arms of Night are now at my disposal. Or shall be, soon enough. Much more than just this staff bathing in there. Allay your fears. She has returned. A battle lost. But this is war, young one, and you have many battles yet to come. The only question is, are you prepared to win? I'm not so sure here, so let's see you give me 20! Commander Skelemia, sir. I am ensnared! <laughs> Disciples, watch and learn! Forgive me, sir. You see? Death to Kronos. I'll see to that. No one is more prepared. Beyond the mists of Erebus, there should be a way down. Too risky heading through Elysium. And too risky to stay. All right, it's time. <laughs> Ugh, these blasted wards. Sigil of Frost. 
Headmistress told me so much about you, and now at last we meet. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. You look just like your mother. I'll not lose her again. I shall freeze hell in its entirety if that is what it takes to get her back. You'll help me, won't you, granddaughter? Grandmother. All of you gather round. Within Mist Shrouded Labyrinthine Erebus. They'll be judged soon enough. You'll regret this. bones for later use. Turn to dust. memory that lingers on my mind from lonely oh what are you doing here besides tramping all over my webs that is oh it's nothing silly i can always make more perfectly good silk i can't always see you um hi arachne sorry about all this i think we'll soon be seeing more of one another now my task has begun Truly. Why then, I'll get out of your hair. You have to go. But first, you have to try on one of these. And don't worry about any wear and tear. I've plenty more in stock. <laughs> This is beautiful, thank you. It matches your eye. To your success. for me.
adequate. in touch already, I can tell. Your nan fancies herself the eldest of Olympus, she does. Only true because I'm usually not here. Mayhap she left you cold. Well, not to worry, I have just the remedy. Trident sigil. You're one of my father's brothers, aren't you? Then help him. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Oh, long lost niece, you live! We thought you met the same fate as your father, and your mother, and your brother. Oh. Well, how about we turn the tide and exact terrible revenge for poor old Hades and his kin? Strength of the sea. <laughs> Greetings, witch. A chill swept through the air as you approach. 
unseasonably cold. Or perhaps it is as Demeter desires. She aids you, does she not? She does. She knew me for her granddaughter at once. Have you had opportunity to speak with her about me and all that's transpired? No. I've been a bit preoccupied. At least here, Demeter shall be able to cool her wrath against me for keeping you a secret for so long. Crossed flames burn. with diligence and with ferocity. But surely there is more for you to learn beyond this threshold. I look forward to it, Headmistress. What about you? Can you not join me? No. I dare not stray too far from our abode. Continue now your task. I shall await your safe return. Thank you, Headmistress. I passed the test. Cut.
Don't have the means just yet. Beginning descent. The air's thick. Crossroads trouble. So this is where the real action is, huh? Weren't you supposed to still be practicing? Things took a turn, Eris. You know how it goes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some urgent business to attend to. Always in such a rush. I'd really hate to slow you down. Though, let's hang out sometime, okay? Have a great night. Begin. Lurkers. Heads. You there? Dora, it's just... I should have gone farther that time. I'll give more notes on your haunting later, all right? Oh, sure. <laughs> the cauldron's ready for me now. Last night I dreamt of this. I'm ready. By blood and darkness, let my will be done. There. Broker, welcome to the crossroads. <laughs> Dark of chaos. 
Cross, light of moon, heed now my will. So mote it be. So At least us. our cauldron's finally purified, praise the fates. Speaking of which, are you as yet considering an invocation to them? I have my doubts that they would listen, even now. If there's any chance the Three Fates shall aid us, I'll take it. Thank you for preparing things for me. Though I'm well short of freshly picked reagents still. Hmm. I'd offer such reagents if I could, but as you venture past this glade, look carefully along your path and you shall find them. Fate's willing. Yes, headmistress. The crossroads. That haven hidden twixt the surface and the underworld conceals those still loyal to Lord Hades, rightful ruler of the dead. Together we'll retake my father's realm. <sighs> After ever scheming Kronos claimed the house of Hades, shades of the dead residing there, all scattered to the ends of the earth. You shades are welcome here and safe. <laughs> Hail, Broker. Be well. Princess. You passed her a little test that time. Must have felt so good beating her ass to the ground. Don't get to spar with her, so I can only imagine. We're not just sparring. You don't know our craft. I know I could take her. A moment. God. Word has it, Eris has been spotted in the depths along your path. Intelligence you likely could have used before, she made your journey worse for you. Apologies, Goddess. She's trying to stop me, or at least slow me down, and she knows too much about our intentions. What do we do? Children of Nyx are supposed to be on our side. She doesn't know the half of what we've planned. Besides, her boredom drives her more than anything. Run into her a few more times, she'll soon grow sick of it and go away. So deems the great tactician. Aye, goddess. Ah, there she is again at last. Still got her. Being a shut. We are the uns. Yeah, I do it. I the shadow follow. The crossroad. We cannot fail with such a genius on our side. Nope. The arms of night are now at my disposal. Or shall be soon enough. The crescent pick. Reveal to me the bounties of the earth. Do make good use of that. Blasted wards heading out. The flame sigil. There's some raw silver I can use. I thought the fire goddess never got involved. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Well, look at you, hot stuff. Come to help the elderly. Oh, what a good girl you are. And here I was, just about to burn this old blasted place to the ground myself. Now, here's a little warm-up for ya.
looks like a new path out. Flame of the Hearth. one for me, did you? <laughs> that ought to do it. Good evening. It's been too long, sister. Look at you on your great hunt. Not ideal circumstances, but you've finally begun. Know that the family has your back, surprised as they are about this. No shortage lately of surprises on Olympus or below. It's good to see you, Artemis, but I must be off. Time's against us and all that. Time's an old fool, too busy besieging the mountain of the gods to sense the threat headed his way. Go get him. For your journey. is yours. Go find your mark. Good hunting.
desert. Here, need to press on.
Enchanted for the night. Ahead of the un... There you are. You surpassed me before, yet I wonder... Was it your mastery over our craft? Or did the fates themselves perhaps provide a little nudge? Come, headmistress. If I could be provoked that easily, I'd stand no chance at all. Not even if the fates desired otherwise. Good fortune seldom comes to those in no position to receive it. Show me your victory was no mere accident. The all-consuming flame! in a haunted, barely moonlit thicket at the underworld's edge. There, a young forsaken princess hunts her prey. Ready or not, hence I go. Do you farewell for now, Lord Hypnos? The Q 
keen-eyed princess finds a set of tracks, suggesting that her foe trod through this dusty ground not very long before. Shush, Homa! How shall I ever catch her if you're going to describe my every move? Uh, I, I, I have no idea to whom you refer, to whom the Princess of the Dead refers, as she continues on her fateful search. Quit teasing me and help me look. You'll find her yet. Odysseus, have you seen Hecate about? Not in a little while, little goddess. Though I'd expect that pointy hat of hers to give her away. I'll look for it. Thank you. Well, she's got to be around here somewhere, little goddess. There. <gasps> got you, Hecate. You're dead. <laughs> got me, you did, Millenary. But I dare say I can escape your clutches yet. Shades? Is Hecate about? Huh, not seen her, huh? Over there! There you are! Got you again! Ah, so persistent! Give up already, witch! For I'm a titaness! You cannot vanquish me! and shall. Aha! <laughs> I got you! Hecate? What's the matter? Oh, it's merely the not heard your laughter before. Reminded me of your mother. A much preferable sound to that of grief. I promise not to cry again. I still get sad sometimes, but not as much. Do not make promises you cannot keep. When tears well up, let them spill forth. They're not so precious that they need be contained. But you never cry, Hecate. And I wish to become strong like you. So that I might find Kronos and destroy him for what he's done. And then you could hear my mother's laugh again. And I shall do everything in my power to prepare you. So that you may succeed where I failed. If not for your family's sake, then for your birthright. As the princess of the underworld. What do you mean you failed? You tried to beat Kronos yourself? He hurt you? Concern yourself with your own pain, not mine. Destroying Kronos shall not change the past, and the pain shall linger, though assert itself less frequently with age. But enough of this. On the morrow, we shall teach you to hunt greater prey. <gasps> Truly? Kronos. I rise again. Wanted you to have this, Dora. To the best hunter in all the crossroads. See, I knew you were gonna pull this gift custom thing on me sooner or later, so I have come prepared. Catch. For me? Thank you, Dora. Ever think maybe we're just not cut out for this, Mel? Me with the haunting, you with the... What are you trying to do again? Find the Titan of Time. Punish him for his crimes against my family. Restore the rightful ruler of the Underworld. Hey, you're cut out for haunting, Dora. Oh, thanks. Just like I'm sure you're cut out for all that other stuff.
Where are you, headmistress? I've had these in my head for long enough. Great tree of life, please listen to my thoughts. It is done. Broker, you've expanded your shop. Let's begin. Oh, daughters of night, who can see all tomorrows, please help me avenge both our family's sorrows. Nothing. They didn't listen. This one. <laughs> Don't have the bones. <laughs> Something to report? We have multiple reports the armies of Kronos are massing on the surface up there, and not yet caught wind of your efforts. At least you aren't contending with them, eh? My route through the Underworld is fraught in its own right, but yes, it's comforting to know that army of traitors remains ignorant of me. There's not a downward route that's more discreet. Those thorny chaps in the woods, they've no love for Kronos either, at least. I'll get past them. The Altar of Ashes. Don't have enough just yet. She's here, now watch and learn. I understand you ventured to the bottom of the sea. I too have been there in those depths, young one. But once, a while back, and briefly, I might add. Of course. You were a famous mariner in your mortal days. But then you finally met your end beneath the waters upon which you sailed? Nah, it was way more glorious than that. Commander, though it falls to us to keep the old traditions alive, may you partake of this nectar unburdened by the weight of its significance. I'm most appreciative of both the offering and of the sentiment, and I summarily shall do my part. Behold, the luckiest of my possessions is in your possession now. You honor me, Commander. There's something new here. Join with me. Lim and Oros, sister blades. We're fellow sisters now. A fitting armament. My keepsakes. Behold that heirloom storage case over there. The tooth. A fine selection. Ready or not, hence I go. Moonlight. She's deviated from her path. Great Titaness, the eye of night. I draw you down. Lend me your might. Good evening to you, little star. Our cycles now are intertwined, as I no longer can afford merely to watch. Whichever threat we face, I vow to shine for you. 
Behold. Lunar Ray. Together we shine. Together we shine. You fought beautifully. certain power and allure, but such a cold and distant light next to a scorching flame, there's no comparison. Fired up. The river Cocytus winds through endless misty passageways. The wailing souls within its languid waters all denied their eternal rest. Reminds me of home. again. Titan thinks he has us pinned, but we have the situation here under control. Just locked in a bit of a stalemate is all.
silk cocoons. Arachne? Make a run for it. No sign of Hermes yet, my lord. Forgive my impatience. I know infiltrating our enemy's ranks and discovering the details of his plans to conquer Olympus is sensitive work. Of course, he'll be back any evening now, I'm sure. Would you indulge me for a moment, Boatman? If we're to restore the old order around here, I was thinking, why not start like this? Wait, are you certain there's no charge for this? The boatman Charon, one time steward of the dead, now sculls the rivers of the underworld in aid of those who yet resist the Titan Lord. What would we do without him? Until we meet again. Dye the silk and load it. Spinning to my eyes deceive. <laughs> hey! Arachne, the outfit you wove for me was so beautiful. I'm sorry to say I got into a bit of a scrape or two. And I'm afraid it didn't survive. Oh, that's quite all right, silly. It wasn't made to last. What is? It was made to be in the moment with you. Now here, I've plenty more.
My blades grow sharper still. I can do this. Prompt as ever. I'll get him, headmistress. I swear it. All that you've taught, I'll bring to bear. And no matter the obstacles that stand in the way, Kronos shall fall by my hand. I require no convincing, Melinoe, although perhaps you do. However much I've taught, what's important is you're a capable student. I have to be more than that. <laughs> mend your wounds, and neither shall your enemies. Return to shadow now. The fire stepping princess stands alone. Is that a word, if you please? Ahem. Pray, who might you be, my girl? And what compelled you to wander in and out of Erebus? I'm not your girl, old man. My name and business are not your concern. So it seems. You appear to be quite pressed for time. Forgive this old man his transgressions. Couldn't have been. Within the sopping, blackest pits of Oceanus reside horrors that the greatest mortal or immortal poets 
could not possibly describe. Don't sell yourself short, Homer. still plying his trade even during a downturn such as this. I trust his prices have gotten better at least. Or perhaps worse.
mailbox. Seal another path. Open up. Oh, great. And now for you. ever forward towards the beauty deeper into the abyss it's very pretty <gasps> limestone what's everybody queuing for Shows. You must be different. What's your name? Oh, make yourself comfy. We're just about to start, aren't we, gals? Sirens. I should have known you were the source of all that singing. Slink down into the underworld, have you? It's the perfect pressure down here. Beats the pressure trying to make art while all our fans are watching, begging. Skilla, where's your next song? Don't you drown your so-called fans to death? Have you even got any left? Oh, don't ever say such things about our fans. Oh, hey, gals, what say we give her the old song and dance?
Princess of the Underworld. I regret having to contact you at such a time. It's not my custom to intervene during moments of doom, only to observe. Moments of doom? You're Lord Moros, emissary of the Three Fates. So your sisters heard me after all. They expected me to find you, for there's something they intend for you to have. Wherever you're going, look for it when you arrive. I'm uncertain if we'll meet again. Farewell. It's been an honor. Wait! <sighs> He's gone. The modestly appointed tent of fierce Princess Milenui nonetheless is dutifully organized and immaculately clean. I won't live in squalor. You there, Dora? <gasps> is that...? This is from the Three Fates. <laughs> Prophecy fulfilled. Rise and shine. The arms of night seek something more from me. By light of moon, together, let us shape reality. You've done it. Such sorcery. So mote it be. Nightshade seeds. Must be an incantation that can help. This should help. If time cannot be stopped, then we shall see. If spill my blood I must, so mote it be. Your will is done. The fates indulged you after all. That is their scroll beside your tent. It followed you out of the shadows. Perhaps it can provide some answers. Would that it does. The fated list has tasked me with ensuring certain minor prophecies are fulfilled, though says little else as yet. May it reward your efforts, at least. But do not expect the fates to always favor you. The bane of our enemy is not necessarily our friend. We'll have to take our chances. Try again? Can't believe sucking up to the fates actually worked. That big scroll over there. That's really from them. Personally delivered by Lord Moros, no less. He seemed a little pressed for time, so we didn't get to talk much. Are the two of you close? We're children of Nyx. None of us are close. But we crossed paths. When certain mortals get what they deserve, it involves us both. I can only imagine. <laughs> Trade you. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> How's life of laid down at the bottom of the sea? All sorts of nastiness lurking there, that the reports make clear. I wager you've seen some things. You'd win that wager handily. The worst of them has to be the sea monstrous called Skilla and a siren friends. They have this ridiculous act. What, Skilla's still around? The sirens no less? It's a wonder you made it back. Well, please tell me you didn't listen to a word they sang. Oh, I heard an earful. Oh. 
You'll flourish here. Plenty of room to grow. Grow and thrive. May you have pleasant dreams for as long as you slumber. And if and when you finally wake, know that this nectar shall be waiting for you. Welcome to the... <laughs> Wait, welcome to the what? What say the ashes? The swift runner. I lack the grasp for this. Eternity. The cards know. Something new there. The onion. <laughs> Upon this cauldron by the will of night. Hey, uh, hear me, shades of the dead. Dora. But notice that my jar collection wasn't sorted properly. I would never store fungus with herbs. Are you trying to subtly drive me mad? No. Although now that you put it that way, maybe in the future, yes. I, I was working on minor possessions and your mushroom bottle kind of slipped. So I put it back. You put it incorrectly back. I... Oh. Just tell me of such things next time, would you? Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. The last wheel of the three fates, those reclusive determiners of all that is to come, is now under the Princess of the Underworld's care. With their aid, we may have a chance. What is my path? Discura, the witch's staff. With me, my what friend. News? My path is set. The lightning sigil. Silver. The king of the gods must have his hands full recently. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Oh, your lady. 
so we meet at last. Emerge from all that gloom to help us settle an old score. If you possess your father's strength, then we have the advantage. Let us strike. Titan killing strength. The craftsman's gift. A root stalker. Every time. The ever restless shades of Erebus find little peace there, save for the prickly embrace of the gnarled branches of those writhing woods. Am I fighting the spirits or the woods?
for the last one. Pleasure to have worked more closely with you, Sister Artemis. This is hardly worth the gift of impeccable precision, though I wanted you to have it. Doing the old traditions now, are we? Well, sure, then I accept your offering, Sister Melenui, and I've been offering for you in kind. Truly, you're the best. Has my little brother lived up to his shining reputation so far? At least he did his part. As soon as I told him about you, sure enough, he was plenty eager to let all Olympus know. Apollo was very kind, though easy for me to say. I'm not his twin. What'd you tell him anyway? Only the truth. That I ran into the reclusive Witch of the Crossroads while scouting out our foe, and that she introduced me to a secret Titan killer she's been training up. You just didn't tell him how long ago that was. So now they really think this long-lost relative of theirs is going to find Kronos and slay him. Oh, they think you don't stand a chance. But they don't have a lot of options, so they'll support you anyway. Especially since you're family and all. And you know I will. yours. All right, I'm off.
underworld of Hades holds more than the souls of the dead. Riches beyond imagination. Even the remains of the deathless titans. They'll end up back where they belong. Compose yourself. Our enemy's strength even exceeds my own. We're both titans, yes, Kronos and I, but he is my elder, as I am yours. What say you? His age doesn't mean anything to me. The old are seldom wise and often weak. And he did not study under you, headmistress. Only I have. Just so. He is an arrogant old fool. The impression of wisdom comes with age more than the real thing. Remember that. against me and for that you're owed a gift may you learn well through it Melinoi
the Book of Shadows. She trained relentlessly for this. He's there. Ah, there you are. You have returned. Or lost your way, perhaps, in those interminable passageways beyond. I know where I'm going. Whom do I address? And what are you doing here yourself in such a place? My name and business are not your concern. Is that not what you said? Ah, the impertinence of the youth of this age. in coins. suitor journeyed far and wide just to gaze upon me not that i blame you and get totally rejected fine ogle if you must you have the wrong idea i'm not seeking a mate i don't even know who you are what i'm narcissus dummy the narcissus and if you're no would-be suitor then why don't you relieve me of one of these innumerable gifts the others offered in vain then beat it
him now. Oh, that sea serpent. Dora must be hiding for a bit. The fated list of minor prophecies. Another prophecy fulfilled. Ah, you're here. I think I know how I can do the bidding of the fates. Within the boons of Mount Olympus, I would see their elemental essences, my victory. There. It is done. Our cauldron. Domnoski Traxon. You have it. Headmistress, if I may. Hear me, Selene, if you so desire. Aid me in finding that which I require. Hmm, yes. Katoskian Oski. So mote it be. The fates expected this. Headmistress, I found Artemis out there. I'd not expected her so soon, but then, she's quick. Speaking of which, what of Hermes? Any word? Alas, not yet. However, those two are resourceful and discreet. And Olympus remains none the wiser to our long-standing connection with them, if that is your concern. My concern is their safety. May Hermes soon discover what exactly Kronos is scheming and return, though I know we can ill afford to wait. No, we cannot. Hermes convinced me of that. Huh. We're getting nowhere. I should be out there fighting, not standing watch over a place nobody comes to uninvited. Damn. I think the circumstances justify heightened security around here. But if you don't, go take it up with the headmistress. Not me. Uh. Hmm. I heard reports you were proceeding well through Oceanus, but evidently they were not up to date. What brings you back, Goddess? A sea serpent, if you must know. A particularly substantial one caught me out. You ever faced them in your mortal voyages? I did, I, but not alone. Even with my shipmates, seasoned veterans all, we scarce could track the slippery bastards darting out of the waters. Uh, not reassuring, is this? Not entirely. Not even the wiles and stratagems of that resourceful sack of cities, Odysseus, may be sufficient to overcome the titan of time. They say never to underestimate that man. <laughs> Come on. So often has my sleep been racked with nightmares. Memories, perhaps, of when headmistress took me in. If your dreams are troubled too, O oh sleep, you show no sign of it at least. <laughs> you tried? <laughs> Did he just... Have I tried what? Rest easy, son of Nyx. One, please. <laughs> Fair trade. Take care then. Full bloom.
the Arcana. Huntress. The Silver Pool. Now. Ignium. The Umbral Flames. Incinerate my foes and light my path. With honor. Keep practicing, as though you still had lives that depended on you. Hi, birds. There's something up with those nocturnal arms of yours. A certain aura that's surrounding one of them. The Grave Thirst. A relatively simple incantation. I expected there was more to the connection between Knight's weapons and the dead. No wonder you can see it too. Come now. Not like I need eyes on the back of my cranium. But I can feel it in my bones. Want more bones yourself? Just use a weapon with the thirst. Whenever possible. <laughs> Beyond the mists of Erebus, there should be a way down. Too risky heading through Elysium. And too risky to stay. All right, it's time. Get you, Kronos. I heard so much about you, Uncle. But you're not just very strong. You're generous as well. I am grateful, and would give you this. How thoughtful, but deeply unnecessary. Yet now I'm feeling generous, so here, this one's for you. Well, this is quite a catch. As you embark on your fateful voyage yet again, my niece, I have something for you. The newfangled boons we offer haven't always swept you off your feet, but we have older, sometimes stronger blessings too. Through divination of the elements, I see it now. Surging on. Yeah. <laughs> 
dancing incantation took effect. I met one of your brothers, Lord Charon. It was Moros. He delivered to me a certain artifact, but then was gone. Do you know of the fated list? Oh. It's been in my family's care before. So, what of Moros? Where could he have gone in all of this? Perhaps I can locate him again. Farewell, Lord Charon. That gloom, a shadow spiller. of prosperity, all that we've built together threatens to come crashing down, all because of a little bad blood. Hm.
guide you. You bested Sister Hecate. She told me so herself, and with, dare I say, more than a hint of pride. Though she's intent on testing you still? She always said I can't beat Kronos if I can't beat her. And so we spar. I think she's gone easy on me to boost my confidence. Well, I can plainly see she failed. Gone easy. <laughs> if there's one thing the Witch of the Crossroads hasn't ever done, it's that. is yours till we meet again go unseen oh, little fly come sit and rest your wings oh I saw you get into a scuffle with the great big witch why are you fighting i thought you were on the same side oh i can hardly keep up with everything lately headmistress and i aren't really fighting well no, I suppose we are, except it isn't born of anger or misunderstanding. It's just her way of making certain I'm prepared. Huh. Well, look, you show her for me the next chance you get, won't you, my friend? And no pressure, but I might be watching just in case. I won't get underfoot, I promise. like it the intricately woven spider silk ensconcing the environs of one gloom-filled recess within Erebus rivals in quality even the weavings of the gods themselves Arachne knows her stuff <clears throat> Melvin away. 
I trust the dark of Erebus was not too much to handle with the ever-burning flames of Ignium to light your path. No, Headmistress, it was not. Although I've much to learn in how to wield these flames. Then you have come to the right place. Show me how you make the shadows dance. to shadows hence trust that your eve is only beginning victory cinder the pathway's down into the depths. The underworld plunges deeper than the deepest sea, yet there are such places where the edge of one and the other meet. One dark abyss next to another. So 
crystal tonic. of Poseidon's realm, it seems. You mean to circumnavigate your father's domain? Why confront the armies of Kronos head-on when you could go around? A clever move. Getting used to that. I can use this. I bid you shine for me again tonight. I do not care to see the glimmer of the golden coins that Charon takes from you. It is far too much like the light of day, which likewise I can stand only so long. Look forth.
accept this message. Bravest threats along your path. So may my blessing bring you victory. the show. I knew it. She's come back. You ready for another show, lady? We've been rehearsing our material, practicing non-stop, because one day I'm gonna be a star. Oh, me and the gals. What do your musical ambitions have to do with unprovoked acts of violence against me? She's just heckling us, gals. Ignore her and take it from the top. Oh! 
to recharge. A lotus flower. Big drop. Don't lose your way here, Mel. It's watching me. Hello, Eris. Again. What? Are you concerned my task just isn't difficult enough? Going a bit too swimmingly? Actually, yes. I was a little worried about that. You got past the sirens. What next? You go kill Kronos and then what? Come on, babe. Let's not do anything rash. See you later. <laughs> Curses. It's all so vast. What is that?
the last one. Lomi I. Not now. Claim. Think I can finally go. to focus. Charon will want this. on the ground. Yeah. 
that should have done it. Little by little. Here's the gold. heart, and even hateful spirits know to stay away. Need to keep pushing forward out of here. That's more than usual. the elemental essence is here now. You. Yeah. 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 
spilled half my blood back there. In the name of Hades. Better. Lord Charon, thank the gods. Um, hello? No, heal, stay! Hit three heads, you all. Cerberus, is that you? I'm going to help you, boy, no matter what. This old, unfinished painting. Don't look away. Don't forget all that the Titan took from you. There you are. Dora, don't you pay any attention to what's been happening out there? The rise of the Titan of Time? The siege of Olympus? Nope. Can't say any of that rings a bell. Olympus, that's where the family members you don't like live, right? And the Titan of Time, I get that he's bad, but he's never done anything to me personally, as far as I know, so... This entire encampment exists to resist his efforts to overthrow the gods and rule the world? Well then, maybe I should thank him, because I happen to like this encampment. Oh, shush. There you are. At the edge of the morning fields, I face some sort of dark, infernal beast. Three monstrous canine moors, bellowing with fury and sorrow. It was my father's... my family's old dog, wasn't it? Through Odysseus, we have a few reports about a creature fitting that description, more or less, but... 
Cerberus was red in hue as blood. Nevertheless, a stay within the fields could have transformative effects. Wretched thing, torn from its home. He doesn't seem to know who I am. Whether because it's been too long or there's too much on his mind. Mind? But I felt a flash of recognition. He isn't too far gone, is he? And the nature of the beast can never change. Like us, however, they at times must fight the demons that torment them. A battle in which you can assist. Trust your training. Perhaps he can yet shake the spell that's overtaken him. I'm certain that he can. Back in one piece. A word of caution, Goddess, in regard to an impediment you may confront when finally you reach the far end of the morning fields. Reports suggest it's some sort of infernal beast. A big one. Our Shades had to stay very far away. I can corroborate our Shades' reports, and add that this infernal beast is none other than Cerberus, my father's household pet, acting on instinct and pure rage. I feared as much, for they said the beast had several fire-spitting moors. I don't suppose he recognized you after all this time and let you pass? He did neither of those things. I have to help him. Where'd Nemesis go? As we improve ourselves, so does our craft. So mote it be. Askion Katoski. So mote it be. It is done. The fates would have me do their bidding. A prophecy concerning doom. I have to find Lord Moros once again and call him here. Let us step on the path to perfection. Commander, you once held a place of honor in my father's house, so you must know Cerberus. I think I found him in the morning fields, coated in miasma, heads to paws. Was he always prone to uncontrolled fits of rage? Oh no, he mostly sat around. We go way back, it's just... I kept strategically afar, seeing as he's kinda like a dog and I'm kinda like a bone. So now he's giving you some trouble, huh? It's not his fault. Kronos must have cast him from the house and put him out to pasture. But if I can just break through all that grime, I'm certain I can calm him down. He never did like bears, just so you know. What secrets lie within? The Tablet of Peace. You are mine now. It shall serve you well.
Should take the tablet. Blacksmith sigil. What is he going to fit me for a suit of armor? In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Uh, they told me you needed a weapon or something. Bah, you already got one. Right lousy one can spot that piss poor workmanship from here. Though, uh, I could tune it up. Silver all grew stronger, didn't it? All right. Near all of the near endless pathways and suffocating Erebus lead to dead ends, and very scarce are those who can navigate them. Took only my entire life to figure out. Crossroads.
Arachne was here. Perhaps I'd better go. Spiller. just one of her pranks. Taking on the Titan yourself, come on. But it did sound like something a vengeful child of Hades might attempt. grow in instead. I'm so tired flying to and fro. I'll wrap you up and sing you soon to sleep. Dream oh, welcome. Don't, my friend. Just, you don't need to look at me like that. You don't need to look at me at all. Look at the fineries I've made. Silk in every shape and color, see? It's beautiful, isn't it? It is, Arachne. To think I could have wronged you with an inadvertent glance just now. It's just I'm concerned for your safety out here. Oh, there's no need for that. You see, my form included certain benefits. 
I get to live a long, long time to enjoy it. Besides, just because you found me here doesn't mean just anybody can. She goes. you out, was it? Seems like an awful big coincidence. But then with gods, these things, they happen all the time. I'll say I'm glad she found you when she did. Getting warmer. My incantation must have led me to this place. Deep in the endless woods of Erebus lie secret clearings, undiscoverable, but through supernatural means. I knew we'd find this place. <laughs> oh? Are you lost, little one? Ran off. You again. Messages, isn't he? Almost like taking corpses down into the underworld like he used to. Eh, nothing to do for those these days. Except to burn.
special offer of some sort, my lord. I've returned as much gold as I could, but know full well it isn't easy for you to procure the goods you provide. Why, oh, thank you. Redeemed this at the crossroads, is that it? Exclusive access to Charon's premium wares. Olympus has emboldened you, made you strong. Yet, tis a fleeting strength. One false step, and I could wipe it all away. I'll take a fleeting strength over no strength at all. We take every advantage that avails itself. Just so. Then come and show me how you would make use of such advantages. at the crossroads and on. I shall be catching there my breath. The fire-stepping princess stands alone. I see it. show you the way. See you in the crossroads? Down I go. At least my feet are clean.
Ethan and Pissai accept this message. My silver's come alive. The iron's still hot. Now, come on, hop to it, Hephaestus, my lad. I'm up in, I'm up in, lady, yeah. Though if you keep on turning up the heat in here, then this old forge is gonna blow and take the rest of the damn mountain with it, too. And what would Witchy have to fight for, then? golden coins. Try again. Look upon. 
on me. See you in the crossroads. The mirror sheen of the standing waters all about reveal to denizens of Oceanus their full selves, to their horror or to their delight. This is not a good view. Excuse me. I have one rule, and that's look, but don't touch, okay? In fact, why don't you stand a little farther back? And also tell me how come you keep showing up like this? I have some affairs to settle in the lower reaches of the underworld. Thought I'd take this rather scenic route through this chamber of yours. Oh, it isn't my chamber. I just find the waters here particularly clean and reflective, and far fewer would-be suitors than an asphodel. Remember to take a gift before you go. to Olympus what they need to know of you. She had pretext to return to your woods, but your reunion needed to be brief. Once our troubles have subsided, may we Silver Sisters meet together and rejoice. Now. Give up already, girl. I know who you are. I know where you go. You shall not get there. This magic. Kronos will call you limb from limb for this. For everything. How frightening. Unfortunately, we shall never know if yours was a mere empty threat. For you are going on a little time out. At least until some other matters are resolved. No. You wish to trace through this realm, then here, bask in it. That old man, it was him. Where am I? Or when? Over there. Need to hold within this rift. What witchery is this?
knew how to resist any of this. What's that? It'll take more than that, Kronos. Vitality, in the name of Hades. I dealt with you last time, yet here you are. Am I going to have to drive you back into the sea? I don't know. Am I going to have to tell Jetty and Roxy to play their hearts out? No, I'm not. Because that's just what they do. Don't you, gals?
lost those sirens. What's going on? Hey, you're up. You were out a while. See anything good down there that time? I fought past Erebus down into Oceanus. It was so strange being underneath the sea. Do you remember the sea, Dora? The sea, the sea, the sea, the sea. That's the thing with all the water in it, right? I heard it's nice sometimes. Also kills a bunch of people, death by drowning, so... Huh, I've been getting mixed messages, I guess. It's a big place. Our wards are holding fast. Each night, another possibility. Fire and earth, between heaven and hell, make manifest my thoughts, complete my spell. So mote it be. So mote it be. Headmistress, I saw him, Kronos. First beyond Erebus in the guise of an old man. He then attempted to ensnare me in some vision out of time. The river of flame, everything ablaze. Still, your heart, Melinoe, you're safe. And you were able to return again, which means that all your training served you well. So then, he realizes who you are. So he claims. I broke free from his spell like it was second nature, but neither could I raise a hand against him. What must I do now? Nothing has changed. You're to confront him down where he resides, where your mother and father rightly ought to be. But go with patience, not with haste. He may know something of your power now, yet not enough. Yes, headmistress. Evening. And there's something by the broker. <laughs> Special order privileges from Lord Charon himself. Order approved. This wasn't on the list before. You look as though you've seen a ghost, if you'll forgive the very antiquated mortal turn of phrase, Goddess. So we'd say to someone looking disconcerted. Things all right? Yes and no. I saw Kronos out there. I thought he had me, but I broke free from his spell. This was in Oceanus, though I also caught him snooping near the pathways out of Erebus. Damn it. Our reports said nothing of the sort, but then... Some of our Shade informants haven't yet returned. We had expected Kronos to stay put in the lowest reaches. He must have caused enough of a stir to catch his notice. I've hardly been discreet in my approach. Is there truly no other way? We reckon not. We're counting on him thinking you're inconsequential to his plans. As for our own, I shall go over this with the good witch. Be safe, and cheers for the report. Of course. The darkly splendorous Melinoe attends a certain thicket of the crossroads whenever she requires time to think and plan. Time is against us. What say the cards this eve? Huh. 
I'll keep this in mind. The Centaur. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> know the past, know the future. No use. Within the haunted crossroads reside shades and spirits of all sorts, some resembling their mortal selves, and others rendered down to purest essences. You all right, Homer? Nay. The arms of night. You good? I'm good, mostly. I'm good to see your task is underway, but change of plan, though it's a lot to ask. Up for a visit to Olympus sometime soon? Lord Hermes, just a moment. What do you mean, Olympus? My task is to stop Kronos in the underworld. I can hardly breathe the surface air, much less get to a mountaintop. You have your ways. Perhaps is up to something bad more than his usual attack, so just give it some thought. Wouldn't ask if it was nothing, right? Okay, gotta run, and so do you. I'll be in touch by Boone. So long for now. Goodbye. Hear me on my authority. Olympus needs me on the surface. Now we make haste.
what do you need me for? They have that fancy magic of yours ain't all it's cracked up to be. My work, Witchy, is reliable. My silver. doing here one word of this to Hecate and your meat got it now go on while I take care of things this is my task not yours and I'm disappointed with your dereliction of duty are you so desperate to prove you're superior to me you know maybe I am so how about this got some gold on you right those wretches ought to swarm in any moment. Whoever takes more of them gets the other's coin. What do you say? Must it always be a wager with you? There are odds of winning if you shut up and fight. Watch it! Surprised you didn't bail out with that return trick of yours. You don't know anything about me. What are you thinking being this far from your post, in violation of Headmistress Hecate's direct orders? I'm thinking you don't have what it takes to take the Titan down. I do. Now get out of here. Did she just... <sighs> I heard from Hermes at last, my lord. He didn't get into the details of what he discovered, though perhaps you know more. Oh. I understand. It's not my wish to pry.
this place again. Most of the ancient edifices that once housed the dead awaiting judgment within Erebus have since been taken by the woods or by decay. It must have been magnificent. Interesting. Huh? Don't be afraid. Again? Fine work as always. Here's the gold. I heard from Hermes' headmistress. He gave me the impression that Olympus needs my aid. What of my task? Your task remains, as does the adversary whom you face. We shall discuss the matter with Hermes elsewhere. We have other matters first.
Kage. <laughs> Even greater wrath against the enemies awaiting you below. Return to Shadow now. Outlasted her. You. Greetings. You seem to know your way around. I am master of this realm. Yet even I would never venture into yonder woods. You even found your way back from your detour in Asphodel. Damn you, Kronos. The fates cannot help you now. <laughs> Time is running out. Embarrassing. It is a pity that this granddaughter of mine is both a weakling and a fool, though an elusive one. I ought to thank the fates that we have met at last. The fates had nothing to do with this. You took my family. Our family. Make not their same mistakes, and in time, we surely shall grow past this halted start to our relationship. I shall see you later. Wait! You... through the underworld are consequential to the war that rages here. But leave the surface to the gods and me. Do not become distracted by the sealed crossroads gateway leading up. Please make your choice. Moon water. My light is yours. In this one.
Lord Hermes. And we're off. But if you can handle the pressure down there, I can bring the heat. Fired up. Thank <laughs> you. 
What do we have in here? You're here, Lord Charon. These shipments shall be very valuable to us. We remain as ever in your debt, Charon. May swift Hermes hasten your voyages across the realms, wherever he may be. And until we meet again, shadows conceal you. Thank you for the supplies, my lord. New shipment there. Perfect condition. Back on your feet again there, princess? All's well in the crossroads. Nothing to report. It's fortunate we have you vigilantly keeping watch here, Nemesis. Oh, come on, drop the act. What happened? When did you return? 
I don't know what you're talking about. And it's not your business anyway. Fates help you on your task. Not quite as easy as you imagined, is it? To think that the embodiment of retribution could be so arrogant. Shut up. Goddess. See Charon's latest haul, Goddess? Shipment by the riverside, all yours. And we're watching the rivers, making certain this won't be the last. Lord Charon risks aiding my efforts in such a direct way. Are we able to compensate him at all? Aye, with what gold we've gathered recently. He really means to melt down every last one of those Kronos coins we can get our hands on. Oh, yes. Just breathe. The boatman. Which cards reflect my path? To all of you just joining up, welcome. This has great thirst this eve. The time has come for some slicing, huh? Here we go. To the house of Hades. Good on his fire to settle a family dispute, eh? Especially productive, seeing as we can't even kill each other, is all Kronos himself can attest. Ah oh well, plenty of work for me. God's power. Within mist. blood where in the who in the can't right now what sort of boon is this in such a place well in the name of Hades Olympus are you there Olympus cannot hear you spawn of Hades but I can and I have for you a proposition assist with the quandary of mine Response. Almighty Chaos, I'm honored to make your acquaintance. W what sort of quandary would concern the origin of all existence, and how do I fit in? Time shall tell, but at present I have inferred that your response in essence was affirmative. Thus may our newly formed arrangement prove most interesting. 
Accept my mark and go. And later I shall open the abyss for you again. with the side effect for now. Nemesis. Well, well. Missed all the fun. But at least you won't have to get your hands dirty this time. Nemesis, what are you doing here? Who's standing watch at the crossroads? They'll manage. I'm on break. Tell Hecate you saw me, you'll regret it. And you're welcome here and safe, seeing as I cleared the path for you. I don't need your aid in this, other than the responsibilities you've already been assigned. Really? Look like you could use all the aid you can get. Here's something for your trouble, then I suggest you move along. She's off. Hail, boatman. Look upon me. You can sense it, can't you, my lord? The mark of primordial chaos. It seems I have another patron from the ranks of the Chthonic gods. Silken finery, so soft, divine. Ah, it's you. My silk is everything to me. It's stronger than it looks. It keeps me safe. It can suffocate even the strongest prey. Don't you like it? Is there a certain pattern, color combination you admire? It's lovely, Arachne. Look, I wish I could stay and admire it, but... But you can't. I understand, I truly do. Though it would mean a lot to me if you would take some of my silk with you on your way. something to eat.
a chance. changed about my chaos boon. <laughs> this should help. Georgia Boatman there appreciates that the smooth sailing he's experienced in his mercantile roots is no coincidence at all. sensed your presence. Hermes urged me to address a certain matter with you here. However, my view is you are unprepared for the surface as of yet. Meaning you won't lift the wards barring the path to the surface. What if I remove them myself? I've seen how you do it. Then you'll be more prepared than you are now. Till then... Remember, your objective lies below, past me. show of force. Hold nothing back as you continue on. Thank you, Headmistress. <laughs> Crap. 
Kronos. Just you, my girl, are meddling in matters you do not understand. Your father made certain choices. He was bound by them. But you are not. You need not follow in his ruinous path. Ruinous? You brought ruin to the underworld and the surface. You'll never accept what you've done. Now enough talk. How very spirited. You truly think you can stop time? Well then, I would like to see you try. Then watch this. That chair. <laughs> This flower. Ha! <laughs> 
shadow now. Oh, the mark of chaos. Hey. Oh, hey, Mal. I was just floating. Floating around, I guess. And existing. Just kind of existing a lot lately. You? Failing? Making progress? I don't know. Speaking of, shouldn't you be practicing your haunting, Dora? Oh, yeah, no, I thought maybe I'd take a break from that. Why well, do now? What you could do later, right? For the sense of some spirits of the dead forever what not happening. <laughs> Looks like I did it. amongst the living. Kronos was waiting for me again outside of Erebus. This time I recognized him right away, but I could do nothing against him. Wily bastard. Arrogant to the last. So then, he knows of you. What did he say? He thanked the fates that we had finally met, as though he'd been searching for me all this time and told me not to make the same mistakes as my family. Eject that poisoned memory from your mind. He knows nothing of the Fate's designs. I shall reinforce all our protective sorceries, and you fear not your enemy. Slay him. <laughs> Nemesis must have a head start. So, there's a bit of a new wrinkle in our plans. We've been able to verify some of the details that Master Hermes suggested to you about what's brewing on the surface. Please tell me what you may. And if you think it wise for me to deviate from my objective to address whatever's going on up there. The forces of Kronos gather to sail on Olympus through a channel cut across the land. You're poised to disrupt the enemy ranks from within. Aid Olympus, and your chances against Kronos may improve. The warded pathway leading up should drop me right into the heart of our foe's forward garrison. It seems so reckless. Could calculated risk. Moonlight guide you, Shades. Wisdom of the ages. Much deeper than it looks. Don't have enough. We bid you welcome to the vanguard of the underworld. My collection grows. The pick. Ignium. You're beginning to fill out that keepsake storage case, young one. Fine work, yet I must caution you not to collect just for collecting's sake. The act of giving is its own intangible reward. Nectar sours when it's offered with impure intent. Won't have impure intent on my damn training grounds. Sealed as always. <laughs> 